Hello everyone. Between these two options, which is the corresponding Korean word to kittens? 고양이 새끼들. 새끼 고양이들. 새끼 usually means offspring of animals, plants, or insects, which is mostly used for babies, but not all the time. Anyway, a more correct answer is number two. 새끼 고양이들. We can put another animal here like this. I put the word 새끼 before these animals. Remember this. 새끼 염소, 새끼 양, 새끼 호랑이. But then there are Korean words which mean babies of a few animals like these. But these are not many. 망아지, 병아리, 강아지. 송아지. If you use number one, the other person can understand it as kittens as well. But number one option, 고양이 새끼들, sounds like a bad word because there's this bad word in Korean. 개 means dogs, and the word 새끼 places after this word 개. So if you say it this way, it sounds like you swear. So if you intend to say kittens, using number one option is not a good choice. This is one of the most common mistakes that foreigners make. And there's a word 자식, so we can put this word instead of 새끼 here. The meaning of it doesn't change. These two are used as a bad word in here. And usually we use these two expressions. To men, not women. 자식 means offspring of humans, but but I didn't use it as this meaning here. So 새끼 or 자식 can have a very negative nuance, and and it is sort of a slang word like this when you intend to swear at somebody. But they have other meanings. Let's take a look at the next dialogue. You can hear guys call each other 새끼 or 자식 like the following dialogue. 야, 저기 봐. 철수 새끼 여기로 오고 있어. 진짜? 저 자식 오기 전에 선물 숨기자. In this case, these guys are using 새끼 or 자식 as a 호칭. It is a slang. Of course, this doesn't mean someone's offspring here as well. Usually, when you use 새끼 or 자식 as a 호칭, it doesn't sound good. And it can even sound like a bad word. But it is not always the case. In here, these three guys, they are best friends. Considering its context, we can see that they are not swearing at Cholsu in a way. So in here, 새끼 or 자식 can be used to just call the following people in a, in a little bit rough and friendly way. Anyway, between these three friends, there's no problem if they agreed to use this word to each other implicitly. Despite this, I don't recommend you to call your friend this way. I hope this explanation will just help you understand Korean culture. And lastly, let's take a look at another dialogue where 새끼 or 자식 is used to mean offspring of humans. 철수 엄마, 복숭아 맛있어 보여. 네, 향도 좋아요. 저는 복숭아 알레르기가 있는데 저희 아들은 복숭아를 엄청 좋아해요. 좀 드릴까요? 나도 복숭아 알러지가 있어. 새끼 주려고 사온 건데 내가 달라고 하면 안 되지. For insects or animals, except for humans, 새끼 means babies or young ones. But in this dialogue, they are talking about the person bee's son. 새끼, 새끼 is not used for a baby or a child here. Because his son is 23 years old. He's an adult. And this time, it doesn't sound like a bad word, considering the context. In this case, this is not a bad word, and it can be replaced with the word 자식 as well. So these two mean someone's son or daughter here, and they can be used 
even if their offspring is not a baby or a child. As a side note, look here, 철수 엄마. In most of your countries, you call other person their name if you, if you two know each other. But in Korea, if you know a woman who has offspring, we usually call them like this. If they have more than two offspring, it is highly likely that the name of their oldest son or daughter is put here. I think calling them their name will be much better, but anyway. I, 자식, 새끼. But I or 자식 is more recommended. Seki doesn't mean bad thing in this case, but still, this word is kind of strong. And usually, the word seki is used by some elderly people or middle-aged people. Of course, they use seki when the other person is the same age with them or when the other person is younger than them. I is proper when you suppose or know that the other person's son or daughter is not an adult. And as I said, 자식 is used whether the other person's offspring is an adult or not. But if the other person is much older than you, it is wiser to use 자녀, 자녀 instead of 아이 or 자식. 자녀 is a polite version of 아이 or 자식 which can be also used whether their son or daughter is a child or not. Of course, you don't need to ask this kind of private question to others, but anyway. 아이가 있어? 자식이 있어? 아이가 있어요? 자식이 있어요? 자녀가 있어요? 자녀가 있으세요? So today's point is that 새끼 or 자식 is sometimes considered as a bad word in Korean, but not all the time. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.